Hello friends, in this video I will be reacting to episode 1 of Andor. After watching Rogue One, a lot of you told me that I should watch this television show. And I was a little bit on the fence because I don't plan on doing much TV on this channel. But since this show is so short and it does go kind of hand in hand with Rogue One, I thought why not? So I'm interested to see more of the backstory of Cassie and Andor and just where it goes. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Wait, I'm already kind of feeling the music though. I am. I'm already kind of feeling the music. I always think it's interesting seeing the Star Wars universe more on a street level because you don't see that as much in the movies. Oh, they are having a good time, aren't they? You picked a great night. It's set up being quiet this evening. Excuse me. We were at first. Garni will help you. I don't want Garni. Behave. It don't sound like it doesn't sound like he will. A friend of mine said there was a girl from Canary working here. Canary. It was a small mid rim system. It's like yeah, he if he's there, he's there for a purpose. Are you from Canary? Nostalgic, are we? Let me go and check on that for you. Now the question's like, why is he really here? Oh, this is something amusing. Oh, this man is sensitive. You keep looking over it like there's something funny. Is it? Definitely not. What does that mean? That y'all are sensitive. That's what it means. I'm looking for my sister. Oh. People come and go. You should leave. What was her name? Nobody here gives their real name. I mean, that makes make sense. Are these the same ones who were in the bar earlier? Oh, then you didn't park out past the causeway, did ya? Uh, sure hope not. That's off limits to visitors. We'd have to find you. Is this gonna be the end of them? Are they gonna be done? Is this gonna be... Mm? Up right. Why do you swim over? You swim over, Scrono. Uh, they really are sensitive. I got 300 credits in my coat pocket. What are the chances on that? That is almost exactly what it costs to cover the fire. Wow, scummy. You wanted you take it and I walk away. I don't need any surprises. But y'all are gonna get a surprise. Just get close enough. <coughs> oh my gosh. What? Is he going oh, on the pocket? <laughs> Ooh, there it is, there it is. <laughs> Dang. Let's hear it, boss. Get up. Get him up. All y'all had to do was mind your business. That's all you had to do. Oh. Oh, did that kill him? Oh. He's not breathing. No. Burlow. Burlow. He's taking. He's not. Burlow. All you had to do was stay where you were. That's all you had to do. Mean it. He fell. Um, we had a misunderstanding. And... He trying to be sure he lives through this. We're going to get there. I'll tell him what happened. Um, that was the end right there. He wasn't going in with you. I mean, obviously he didn't mean to do that. But that also wouldn't have happened if they had just left him alone. That is um quite the way to start this off. Like seriously. Oh. Oh, these things look freaky. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Cassian. Casa. Casa. Oh, that's who he's looking for, isn't it? Or I'm making assumptions, but I'm guessing. 
the wood is coming down. Oh! Why are you trying to call them over? Why you don't even know who they are? Marva said you were out ruining your health and reputation with friends of low character. Dang. Then she told Brasso that. No. Yeah, I would have heard enough too. Like, dang, she was dogging him out while he was gone. Listen to me. It's important. I know it takes a lot of energy, but can you make a lie for me? I can lie. I have adequate power reserve. So he has to be charged enough to lie. Lies take up a lot of power. All those gloves, do they signify something? Like people who passed on or something? No, no, they don't. They belong to people. I'm trying to make stuff deep and it's not deep. It's not deep, Kayla. I'm tired. I went home, uh, cleaned up a bit, and then I fell asleep. You can buy for me, but I wasn't there. So then you started home and you saw me at the hotel bridge. Oh, alibi. He's gonna be asking. So Carlos was out. But then you remembered you still had half a bottle of Nog stashed at home. Please. I really need this. He, he really does, honestly. You were gone when I woke up. You've come here now to apologize. I accept your apology. Hey, Brasso, let's go. Basically, he's got his bet. Two men are dead, sir. Employees. Mm. That's not worth staying up for. Then I'm not worthy of the uniform. So they definitely look into this because they were guards. Have you modified your uniform? Perhaps slightly. Pockets piping and, and some light tailoring. <laughs> wow, wow. He was a squad commander on four. He's lucky he wasn't killed years ago. One of the most unpleasant people I've ever met. I mean, he was quite unpleasant. I'm sure that in several days, with the proper resources, I can bring this case to a- Stop! I don't mean just the talking, I mean stop. I got a feeling that he's not gonna- Two dedicated Primor employees caught in the sad orbit of a heroic calamity. I don't understand. I want you to conjure a suitable accident. Oh, so they're just going to cover it up. They're in a brothel, which we're not supposed to have. The expensive one, which they shouldn't be able to afford. A drinking Rivnog, which we're not supposed to allow. Mm. They clearly harassed a human with dark features and chose the wrong person to annoy. I mean, he's not wrong. They died rushing to aid someone in distress. They died being helpful. Something sad but inspiring in a mundane sort of way. I mean, he's right about how they died, so the cover-up actually makes them look better. Second Deputy Inspector, are you absorbing my meaning here? Trying, sir. He's not gonna leave this alone. He isn't. Minimizing the time the Empire spends thinking about Preox Morlana benefits our superiors and by extension everyone here at the Primor Security Inspection Team. This is a man who like completely did up his uniform. He is not, he's not letting this go. I have something to sell. Don't we all? There's a TAC Corvette coming in this week looking for scrap. I Something can't wait that long. Why? What have you done? Quite a few things. I got an untraceable NS9 Star Path unit. You wanna call your guy or not? Do you know how much that's worth? Yeah. Enough to get out of here. Lay low till things cool off. I need to relocate for a while. He does need to relocate. There's a Wobani run coming. Jeff wants to know if we're in on it. You'll know when I'm ready. Just promise he knows nothing about any of this. He'd do anything for me. No, no, no. That wasn't my question. Exactly. It's like, don't, don't make that assumption, girl. It is interesting seeing more about Cassian, like this whole backstory of the person he was, I'm guessing, before he joined the rebellion. Because the subtitles don't like tr translate what they're saying, I've no real clue what's going on in that moment. Orlean Starcab or Davan, some old thing and there's something just strolls through the checkpoint i don't know what's more disturbing the fact that our corporate borders are unprotected or your complacence about it mm, i mean i get that it's his job even though i'm not like on their side at all but his boss is not gonna be down with it got some place to be yeah well, not happy to see me 
No love for Nurji. <laughs> no, I'm late, okay? Oh, I know. I want my deposit back. Oh, so this is about money. That's why he seems so happy to see him. You're here with him. To what? To threaten me? That's what it looks like. You need work this bad. Leave him out of it. He said all I needed to do was stand here. <laughs> I'll be back. What's up? Errands. Won't be long. Oh, he's starting to feel out of the loop because she's definitely keeping stuff to herself. But I'm sure for good reason. Oh, well, there he is. Of course, he's going to follow. So these secrets aren't going to be secret for long, I guess. Let's leave it, my dude. It's none of your business. It's probably better not to know. So that was like a whole cold word for her to send a message. Ferex. Yes, sir. We've been working on it. Canary human males on Ferex. We don't have presence there, sir. Is it not under our jurisdiction? Technically. We are simply asking for information. Have you ever been there? What difference does that- Oh my goodness, he's so intense. Why are you swapping chip logs? You're gonna get us both in trouble. I didn't like the way it was running last night. I don't wanna know what, what you're doing or why, or why you took this thing last night or any of it. Mm. Finish up, get out. Seems like he's, I don't know, wearing out his welcome with a few people. So what putting on that like ash paint is them being able to go out on a hunt or something? Something obviously happened after that. And it's over. And I'm so curious. Like, what? what you... <sighs> okay. The way this first episode ended makes me curious about how we get from this Cassian to the Cassian we see in Rogue One. Also, I kind of went into this knowing that from what some of you said that this show starts off a bit slower, but I don't mind when slow down pacing is there to lay the groundwork for exposition. And it's necessary because we're meeting new characters. This is obviously a period of time where maybe it's a little bit less familiar but obviously that time is needed to set up what's happening later so it doesn't bother me when things are slower I'm just trying to be sure that I catch as much of this important early information as I can so whatever happens later on in this show makes sense so I'm really interested to see how this story unfolds in the upcoming episodes so if you want to know when I post my next Andor reaction please subscribe please like this video if you enjoyed it and friends I will see you in my next video Oh,